All right, everybody, answering a question that was put to me, seeking advice on how to approach the interactive web development course. Hello, Stefan. I recently came across your YouTube videos where you give a lot of great advice and tips on the world of software development. Such a great resource on a variety, variety of topics. Thanks very much. I appreciate that. I'm looking forward to starting your class, Interactive Web Development Course. I have a degree in computer science, which includes, you know, I did the OO programming, data structs, data structures, SQL, etc. But it has been about 10 years since I've worked in the field and I'm looking to return as soon as possible. I'm looking to start with your classes and uh, he has a few questions. So first of all, in the last 10 years, the big change in the web development field has been front side development, HTML5, CSS3, etc. and how people work with front side frameworks a lot more than they did 10 years ago and uh, DevOps. Although if you're doing freelance work, and you see this guy is going to be doing freelance work. If you're doing freelance work, DevOps is far less important, except for maybe using, of course, a, a repo like a GitHub just to uh, have a versioning of your source code, etc. Anyway, I'll get into the questions. Question number one, web dev doing freelance work. No better way to market yourself and to have a site. I don't have a live site. Do clients frown upon this if you don't have a production versus test type site? Well, you should have some sort of website up and running. Now, since I imagine you're going to be selling yourself more as a developer coder rather than a designer coder, then you are free to use a template. Just find a minimal stylish template, adapt it, put your information in there, and that should be enough. I would also get maybe a presence, if you don't already have it, on LinkedIn. So you have a professional profile and maybe a Twitter account or something. But it's important that you have something up there that uh, legitimizes your position as a professional. It's this uh, part of developing reputation, which I've dealt in other videos. I plan on becoming proficient in PHP. I have a scripting background. In the shortest time possible, at least the core foundations as you recommend. To what level does your course teach? Well, I teach the foundations and with those foundational skills, as you know, then you can just pivot into any specialization in terms of the technology stacks that are out there. So I teach the basics and uh, I teach people how to build simple but real world projects. And this way you can launch right into it. I'm assuming with 10 years background, you may have actually worked on real world projects, as you probably know. Once you have your foundations, the real learning comes with actually doing real world work with clients. And in the first few years for new developers, it's just constantly learning as you're doing new things, but it comes quicker and quicker and quicker. So what I try to do, instead of trying to teach you 10 songs to use a music analogy, instead of trying to teach you how to play 10 songs, I teach you music so that you can play every song ever written. So long story short, with my web dev course, it will take anybody, especially you, since you already have a computer science degree, it will take you to the point where you'll feel comfortable to be able to start tackling real world projects, small real world projects, not Facebook, although the beginnings of Facebook perhaps, and just being able to do real work and get paid for it. So for me to achieve, based on your 20 years experience, would you recommend I focus on doing your class to completion first or use other material alongside? What I would suggest is that you do the foundation courses, and there's going to be definitely some review, except for maybe uh, in the CSS3 and so on. If you haven't done JavaScript, it will teach you the JavaScript, the basics of JavaScript and how to use JavaScript to do DOM manipulations and uh, how it works with the browser environment. You know, I don't, you've done computer science degree. I don't know exactly where uh, they took you in that degree. A lot of times they'll teach you C++ and C and maybe Java. I don't know if you've done the web stack or not. So it will get you very, very quickly. You will probably burn through it in a fraction of time as most people, although I've had many students who are able to get through it from scratch, knowing nothing within a month, and they're actually productive getting work. And if you look in some videos, people have commented that on YouTube, how it's really sped up the whole process. So yeah, as a freelancer, to recap, yes, your choice for PHP is a great idea, simply because small businesses use a lot of PHP. 
Um, the big difference that you can see from 10 years ago is much more to do with the front end way of doing things, which I do cover in my course. And uh, in terms of freelance, yes, you do need some sort of web presence, right? Uh, it doesn't have to, if you're selling yourself as a coder, it's perfectly fine to use a nice template, make sure it looks pro, et cetera, paid or free template. Uh, if I assume if you're selling yourself as a coder, if you're selling yourself more as a designer UI expert, then the template, you know, you could do it, but you're probably better off designing your own layout from scratch. So example, my SaaS Studio Web, which teaches software development, we developed our own UI from scratch, everything from scratch. Well, the whole system from scratch because it's so different. There's nothing else we could have used. But because we're teaching web design development, we had to do the user interface from scratch in terms of the aesthetics and design. There you go. I hope that helps. All right. Thanks for watching.